This video is going to be about how to store ionized water, both alkaline ionized and also acidic water. And there, there are two different ways to store these things, so just listen up. It's not a very long video. If you have an, a water ionizer, you do need to know how to store the ionized water. All right, first of all, we'll start with acidic water because I need acidic water to store my electrodes of my meters. And I will keep acidic water, I'll keep the same acidic water for about a month and then I'll switch it when I, when I make fresh acidic water every month. I'll just switch it. And basically, I only make the strong, strong acidic water the kind that you'll see here in this video once a month. And you can see other blog posts how to make it this strong. And um, so after a month, this is a 1.4 pH. Basically, I'm showing you this because that's about what it was when I put it in there a month ago. Now, I just made fresh acidic water to fill up my spray bottles yesterday. And so I'll show you what the fresh acidic water is. It's probably going to be very similar. And acidic water just does not need any special storage. When it, it'll stay whatever you poured it until it evaporates, basically. Alright, so basically same, 1.4. Now that's a very low acidic water and most things do not need that low acidic water. That acidic water is used for meter probes just to clean the calcium off the probes. It, it, it helps me to not have to clean them quite as much as ordinarily I would. Alright, well I can just pour this acidic water back in the spray bottle now I have one of these spray bottles for every bathroom, one for the kitchen, one for the laundry room. And they're very handy. You can use them to just spray on the toilet, spray on the countertops and whatnot. And then, you know, you it's a, a natural disinfectant. Alright, so now let's talk about alkaline water. Because the alkalinity is difficult to store. And also the antioxidants, which is another way of saying ORP, oxidation reduction potential, will go down pretty quickly and I'm going to demonstrate that for you today. Now if you store it right, it won't go down. So I will show you how to store it properly. So I have poured a, some alkaline water earlier this morning about I'd say an hour and a half ago. So I should have been more scientific and recorded the time, but sorry, I did not do that. But it's been about an hour and a half, and I just want to show you what the pH and the ORP are after that length of time. Okay, so the pH is... I'm just going to let it settle down. I'll say the pH is like 10.6 and the ORP, which is your antioxidants, the greater the negative number the better, is about a negative 322 or 300, negative 323. Now I stored the ionized water in this container here earlier this morning and I want to, this is a vacuum sealed container it has a specially uh, formed lid to cause the there to be no air bubble inside it also is double walled commercial grade, food grade, stainless so it's kind of like a thermos and let me pour some in a glass. And 
and test it. And basically this is the same water that I, I poured in the other glass, but it's just been stored properly in this stainless bottle. Let's see what we've got. Okay, so the, the pH is like 11, and the ORP is up above negative 600, so it's pretty high.